Hi everyone, uh, this is video on infix to prefix conversion and it does not discuss exactly the strategy but it basically focuses on a most widely asked question that the answer of a video that I have uploaded on this topic is incorrect. That is, uh, you can see the link in this guide and on the description of the video as well. The prefix expression is minus static plus ABC plus DF. And whereas the infix expression was A plus B multiplied by C minus D plus F. So I'm usually uh, being asked that this expression, when I convert this expression uh, using stacks to prefix notation, this is the incorrect answer. So let me um, have a quick look to the solution. You see there, I have a character, a uh, character string or character array, whatever you want to say. I have an expression basically. I uh, What I do is I'll reverse it and then using the standard rules or set of operation, I'll just convert the expression to the postfix form. And then by reversing it again, I'll get the infix notation. Details can be found in the, uh, you can find the details basically in another video whose reference you find in the description link. Now I'm usually asked that this is the incorrect strategy or this is the incorrect answer. The correct answer is minus plus static plus a, b, c, d, f. And this procedure is not correct. So let me, um, assure you that there are like two different possible solutions of conversion of this uh, particular infix expression to the postfix expression for that i recommend you to go and look into the uh, data structure known as expression trees youtube link is given here and in description as well and um, by using expression trees you can exactly evaluate what could be the possible solutions or which is the right answer basically so in uh, expression trees, we have to find the operation which will be performed in the last or in the end. Here you can see that minus or plus are the two uh, operations that will, that might be performed in the end. So we make the, these operations as a root uh, node or as a root element. So you can see when I create plus as a root node, I get this expression tree. And I, when, when I consider this minus as the root node or the operation that will be performed in the end, I'll get this expression tree. Now I have got two different expression trees that are totally entirely different from one another. Apply pre-order traversal on both of the trees. That is print the node, then traverse the left subtree and then go to the right subtree. You can find all these details, how we go with the traversal and everything else in my another video known as uh, with the title of exp expression trees. Here you can see that after doing pre-order traversal, I get this result and similarly when I do pre-order traversal on this tree I get this result so both of them are the true or valid uh, prefix conversion of the given infix node so both of the answers are correct that's it that I hope I clarified your answer and uh, you get what you were looking for so if still there is any confusion feel free to contact me thank you